Last Commonwealth Games was great. Can't wait for this one coming up over in Australia. We've always been the underdogs and, and managed to move under the radar. Just try to make the most of it every time we put that jersey on. And it's even more special when it's at a Comm Games. We're in Team Canada. A lot of us have been to the kind of Pan Am Games, Commonwealth Games, just an Olympics, have multi sports. It's a completely different thing. It's a really cool atmosphere just seeing all the other athletes there. Obviously, being close to the Canadians, we all kind of stay in the same dorm kind of area. Um, meals are in the same area as well. So it's a really cool vibe just hanging out, and then, you know, we can support other teams as well and go watch some of the other games. Lucas Hammond has put Canada back in front, and they have made history. Canada are the gold medal winners at the HSBC Singapore Sevens. We're lucky, I think, as rugby that we, we play in a, a multi-team event on a regular basis. There are 16 teams stay in the same hotel whilst we're on the World Series, so we have the advantage of being used to other teams around us. Maybe not um, as many as they're going to be there and also um, you know, men's and women's, um, but it's part of the challenge for every team and I think you've got to embrace it rather than try and fight it. You create relationships with people on other teams and you're kind of this collective Team Canada, which is kind of cool. New Zealand we've played before and we've beat before as well, so we know we can do it. Kenya as well, uh, we always run good against them and Zambia too, uh, a tough team, but we got to step up and beat them. I think New Zealand's aura has, has slipped slightly over the past uh, several years because I think other teams have, have caught them up. They'll always be uh, one of the best teams around and I know that they're, they're strengthening considerably for the Commonwealth Games. Kenya and, and Zambia, two, two of the African sides, um, who were always ultra competitive and, uh, you know, can beat the best on the day. I feel we've got enough to overcome those two. The big challenge will be New Zealand and uh, you know that will be the one we'll focus our attentions on. We only have a small squad. I know that the other countries are splitting their resources and sending um, their strongest team to the Commonwealth Games and using that as a focus. We're going to go with our tried and tested group and, and hopefully they can get us through. I think we're away for a month in Australia for the, for the Commonwealth Games and yeah, it's all about managing players on the field. We have one of the tougher pools on paper, but yeah, no, we're really looking forward to it and we're up for the challenge.